Hello, and welcome to the new Kamusi project. I would like to introduce you to our project, show you some of the new things that we're doing, so that you can understand what it is that makes Kamusi different, a, a different experience than anything you've seen before in a dictionary. What I've got here is an example of the word night, which shows how we've linked across languages. Now, what we're doing is we're creating a multilingual dictionary, a dictionary uh, between languages. And this is something that you've not been able to see before, uh, where we have a definition, for example, here we have the word night, and we have a definition in English. Now, if you were to go and click our link that we've created here to French, we are going to, into the French word, night, nuit, which has a definition in French for that term. So it's a monolingual entry for French, but it's also now still linked to all of the other languages for that particular concept that are already in the system. If we were to uh, then go into, for example, the Pular language. Jama in the Pular language is the same idea. It's again linked to all of those other languages, but it also in Pular has its own uh, definition so that you have a monolingual dictionary in Pular. Now, this becomes more important even when we get to start thinking about words that have are homonyms, where there are multiple senses of a word in, with, that share the same spelling. Because if you try to bridge across from one language to the next, you quickly lose the ability. You, you get lost in the game of telephone, and you don't know what you're, you end up talking about. So, for example, the word light has a sense in English of being low in weight, and that would be ligero in Spanish, for example. And it has a sense of radiant energy that provides illumination in the visible wavelengths. That's luz in Spanish. That's a different word entirely. A pale shade or color, light green, light red, that's another word entirely in Spanish and other words entirely in all of the other languages that we have in the system. Um, and light, a device that provides an illumination, a lamp, again, different in Spanish, different in Swahili, different in Romanian, and in, in the other languages. So it's extremely important that we divide everything up into these concepts, into the individual concepts, so that we can have those concepts matched correctly as you go from one language to the next. You can see how that would be useful if you were to be uh, trying to study in any language. Also, if you're trying to build advanced machine translation, we are able to be, uh, we'll be able to provide exact concept matches that will make machine translation, automatic translation, a much simpler, much more uh, effective uh, thing to be able to be done in the future. And you can also see that if somebody were to come along and add in another language, Tomorrow, if someone were to add in Vietnamese, the concept for a lamp, that would be immediately linked to all of these, the same concept in all of these other languages. So for the work of doing one Vietnamese entry, the Vietnamese person now gets a Vietnamese Romanian, a Vietnamese Luganda, a Vietnamese German dictionary. Uh, one Very quickly, something that we're, else that we're doing is we have, we're working on, we've organized the system, a unique system for getting what we call morphemes, the shapes that a word can take. So, for example, an English verb can take different shapes for seen, over the verb see, can have seen, seeing, saw, sees, uh, and those all need to be documented so they can be linked correctly, so that you can, they can be searched. Uh, but French verbs will be different, Romanian verbs will be different, uh, Swahili verbs are different, Swahili adjectives are a different beast entirely, and here, so we've set and configured for the, the morphemes fields for Swahili adjectives in a completely different way, but using the same system. And we can do that for any part of speech in any language so that you can get a very refined set of uh, all of, of all the spellings, all the terms as, as they exist in the language uh, related to the correct place in the, in the dictionary. And also in the future you'll be able to link a base form in one language to a morpheme form in another language, for example here, we don't have a word if it would be attractive in English, but that's actually what it, so we would actually link to the English morpheme of, uh, of an adjective, the adjective attractive for the verb, so here the verb is a, so that's a slightly, that's a, a diversion for a lot of people probably, but it's one of the things that we're doing behind the scenes. We're spending a lot of effort trying to make sure that we organize the languages, all the links between languages in a way that will be extremely rich and make it uh, an un- a dictionary experience unlike anything that you've seen before. So that's some of what we're doing at, at Kamosi Project. We've got a lot more that's going on that I don't have time to tell you about right now, but I will make future videos and I hope that this sheds some radiant energy that provides some illumination for you on what we're doing and that you'll 
continue to come back and enjoy uh, using the project and participating in it as time goes on. Thanks.